Welcome to the Creating Health Show. I'm Dr. David Hasse. We talked a little bit about what creating health is, and um, I think it's also important to think about the concept of a health continuum. Let's think about what it is for you to be Maxwell. What is your optimal state of body, mind, and spirit? And so most, most of us come into the world at a pretty high state of health and resiliency, very high on that level. And what we'd like to experience during our course of our lifetime is to stay at a state of maximum wellness, to really enjoy the process of being human and all that the, you know, we have to experience. Uh, and then to stay that way until the very end of life and then drop off uh, quickly uh, and exit this world gloriously. <laughs> so the that would what we'd be called a rectangular health curve, where we're healthy, 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 and then we drop off. But all too often, that's not the case. Where we actually see uh, over the course of time that our level of wellness, our level of resiliency goes down and down and down. And we go from a state of maximum wellness into a silent dysfunction where you know, there's something going wrong, but we're not aware of it, and only like highly trained professionals and advanced laboratory testing can find that. And then that dysfunction starts to become more where it's uh, now symptomatic dysfunction, where we recognize, oh, yeah, something's wrong. I hurt, I'm fatigued, I have a change in mood, I can't think straight, my concentration is not as good as it is. Um, and if that dysfunction is allowed to continue, we start to get to a place of disease and degeneration and where we lose capacity. We lose our ability to respond and bounce back into a state of health. It's literally uh, dying by inches. You know, uh, really aging is what we could call accumulated damage. And so from that point that we are having accelerated aging, this can lead into the zone of disability and where we exist for some years uh, dependent upon others uh, in a state of uh, non-Maxwell uh, and having a, a challenge with regard to pain and fatigue and the production of, of uh, the, the purpose of our life. And then finally, uh, spending, maybe spending many years in that state of disability and finally going on to kind of slide into death. So that difference between this slow degenerative health uh, condition and uh, a very high potential Maxwell leading to um, a, a many good long years is a difference in our health continuum. Um, we want to recognize this slide from maximum wellness to uh, silent dysfunction to symptomatic dysfunction to disease, disintegration, disability, and death. We want to recognize that slide early. And the earlier we can recognize that slide, the sooner we can intervene upon the causes of that decline. And that is, has a tremendous power, tremendous potential, and is the realm of advanced diagnostics and preventive testing. So the next time you're thinking about your health, recognize that you are on a point of your health continuum. And if you desire to get back up towards a state of Maxwell, that's going to require you to be um, to investigate what are the underlying causes that are keeping you from going that direction, and then taking action, often in multiple domains, to reverse that curve back up to a state of Maxwell, and so you can enjoy that for your years and be the contribution that the world needs you to be. So the health continuum gives us a very clear idea of the reality of what it is to experience health, disease, disability uh, in our world. And it also gives us a way of thinking about how we can intervene earlier uh, to obtain a higher level of health. I encourage you, I think about this idea. Uh, if you'd like to learn more, I've written about this in my book, Curiosity Heals the Human, uh, and, and, and the, in there we'll also have some questions to start uh, pondering the idea of what is it to live life fully, uh, and what may you need to do to move your health forward. Until next time, it's Dr. David Hasse, be Maxwell.